made up stories about God kings and why it is good to believe things that are not true. Well, we don't have brains that are big enough to understand even 0.0001% of our world with much accuracy. So, we need brains that make probability calculations and focus on survival. Um, reality just doesn't really matter. Um, did you hear that? Reality does not matter. Okay, well, I like reality, but our genes don't care about it. You may argue that our newfound ability to understand reality will affect our future genetic makeup, and that is, wow, really cool, but it's a totally different conversation. Back to why it is good to believe things that are not true. Here is an example. If we were to see an unknown group of humans dancing and wearing war paint, then we need to assume that they plan on attacking us. We may want to launch a preemptive strike. Perhaps they are merely celebrating a warrior's birthday, or they may be attacking some other group. But better safe than sorry. What we need is a probability calculation that increases the likelihood of our survival. The question really is, what role does the God King play in our survival? Maybe the God King isn't real, but he allows the human king to say, Hey, some guy who throws lightning bolts told us not to murder, steal, lie, or cheat. Those of us um, that are more inclined to believe in King Kamehameha, for example, are more likely to live in a cohesive, unified, and law-abiding society, and therefore are more likely to survive. Large societies also function best when they can beat other societies' butts. To do that, they need to have teamwork. Each one of us must submit some of our own individuality in order to join the group. Kings and rules and common belief systems help our team win the Super Bowl. That's just how we roll. Here's another example. The Giants are playing the Patriots in the Super Bowl this Sunday. Coach Coughlin might tell his defense, The Patriots are scared of you. You beat them four years ago and you beat them three months ago. You are more mentally tough than they are. You have more heart. Skip Bayless has a painful expression on his face and says, I don't think so. Okay, this statement may be wrong. It may even be really, really wrong. However, if everyone on the Giants' defense buys into it 100%, then they will have better odds of winning the game. That is why it is good for humans to believe things that are not true.